Jesus Christ. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. Today's video is going to be me redecorating this cute guest bathroom that we have. A little backstory, we've been in this house for about two years. Not much has changed in this room, so I thought it was time to give it some TLC. So as you can see, it's very plain, very simple. There wasn't really a theme in this bathroom. I kind of just went off of the black accent pieces and I love this quote, it always seems impossible until it's done. That's going to be like the quote of this entire video. So let's go ahead and get into it. I start off by emptying out the entire room. This will make it so much easier for me to get the job done quicker. I line things up with painter's tape. Whatever I didn't line with painter's tape, I do cover with plastic just to protect against any spills. This is me in my painting clothes ready to work. This is the paint that we picked up from Lowe's. It's in the color Windstorm. It only took a gallon to do this entire room. I did choose a light gray color because I felt that it would be neutral. I like to have a more cohesive vibe for every room in the house to blend well together. I know some people like to have more abstract colors and designs. That's totally cool. That's your choice. Create your space how you want. But this is just my style, so that's what I'm sticking with. I know I am an amateur painter and it's just the ADHD in me. If I can do something, I don't see the reason to pay someone else to do it. Even though painting is definitely a task, I've painted just about every room in the house. My boyfriend has helped with one or two rooms, but the majority of it was me. I do struggle with it, but I still have fun. I was getting a little concerned because the paint started looking like a light green color in some spots, but then I realized that's just the lighting of the light bulbs that we have in right now. They were a warm tone, so it was like a little yellowish effect it was giving the paint, but I ended up changing the light bulbs to a soft white, so that wouldn't be an issue. I'll be honest, some of these clips were at bad angles. I kind of forgot that I was recording. I was just so in the zone of painting. So you may not be able to see certain angles, but I'm sure you guys get the gist of what I was doing. And of course, I'll show an ending clip of everything all done. So just sit back and enjoy the process until then. If you take a look at this area on the ceiling above the shower head, you can actually notice this patchwork that we had to do. So one of our neighbor's trampolines actually hit the roof and caused a small hole which led to a leak in the ceiling right there. So we had to patch that up which meant we did need to paint the ceiling. So I went ahead and painted the bathroom just to go ahead and get it done with which is how this project got started. Okay, so I have cleaned everything up. 
as you can see, I went crazy with the plastic. Uh, I didn't want to take any chances. So the sink is covered completely, which helped out a lot because they were like little splotches here and there. And I secured it all along the perimeter. I mean, all the way into the corner, like I sealed it up really good. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, so it was pretty much done. Like I said, we do need to paint the ceiling because of that little incident over there. Um, not sure if y'all can see it. Oh no, let's not do that. But yeah, so we have to repaint the ceiling. So all the little spots like that, that all that's gonna get got. He's gonna do that. Um, I don't know. Like it, it looks weird on my on the camera because so it's supposed to be like a light like a really really pale gray but for some reason it looks like a little green tinted and i don't know how i feel about that i noticed this after doing like that first little area up there and it was concerning 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 but i just didn't want to stop i had already prepped everything and like getting all this done it just <sighs> At that point, I was like, honestly, it'll be whatever color it'll be. And so once he does the ceiling, I can't wait to see all of this nonsense cleaned up. So it looks so much more neater. But I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours and then we shall see. I know it's probably excessive. Like, honestly, it's already basically dry. But I'm going to close the door, turn on the vents and just kind of let it just air out. Well, dry for 24 hours before removing the tape. I don't know, I'm just scared. Also, that um little red brush that I had that was on the stick that I used to get behind the toilet, that thing was amazing. Like, as you can see, I literally wrapped, I mean, the top, the sides, even down here, like I was not, <laughs> and there's a little bit more plastic behind it just in case. So when I was pushing the brush down, you know, the plastic was protecting the, the back of the toilet so i could just you know go through there without a problem and i mean you know i got all in the sides all the way back on this side all the way back all the way underneath like the detail and so all these little spots at the baseboards i know i probably should have put blue tape down it's just me and blue tape or painters tape and baseboards have not had the best <laughs> history i would say it never works for me especially with baseboards so what i'm gonna be doing is basically just gonna once everything's dry and we clean up and take all this out i'm probably gonna just go in with a baby wipe and get like really close to there and clean that up because usually it comes off the baseboards pretty easy it's just that it takes a little bit of little elbow grease um either that or get a magic eraser marker and then wipe it down because honestly it's not hard to remove the paint but if it's in a, like a bunch of little spots that's when it gets a little bit annoying and a little excessive but i try to minimize that as much as possible so if i can just focus on baseboards and focus on like the perimeter of the tub and the shower and stuff then i'm fine i don't have to worry about the toilet at all i don't have to worry about the sink everything is clean the door clean i don't wait um, the little bitty spots on the tub, I'm not worried about. I didn't seal it off like I did the toilet and the sink only because I knew I was going to have to get in there and like actually stand to reach anything up there. So yeah, that's a whole nother story. So I'll just take a magic eraser marker and wipe that up. It literally no effort, no elbow grease for that. It's actually pretty quick. I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours. And then I'll come back and let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully he'll be able to paint it before I show you guys the ending of it. So the ceiling's done, but we shall see. But yeah, anyways, see you then. I didn't record us painting the ceiling, but this is the paint that we used. It's specifically for ceilings. It's pink at first, but then it turns white. That way you make sure that you don't miss a spot. And I thought it was really cool and I would highly recommend. So real talk, 
it's actually been over a week, I think, since I finished this. Um, so last week I puppy sat for my friend Eve and then it was my nephew's birthday last week as well. And so I picked him up and brought him here and he spent the weekend, well, it was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He spent those three days with us and then he had a party on Saturday. So we went to that. We went to Andretti's. So much fun. Um, and girl, the time just got away from me. Okay. That's the point. Time got away from me. And now I'm trying to pick back up because I honestly, I'm stalling. Like I've been stalling for two years to get this done. I'm stalling yet again. So I need to hurry up and just get this done. I'm going to be wiping down any of the spots that have paint on them with antibacterial wipes. Got this from Home Depot, super cheap. So, and then whatever's too stubborn and won't come off with these, I'm going to use a magic eraser. Um, this is just my trick. I'm not a fan of blue tape, as you guys saw. So it's just too tedious to put up and then you got to make sure you get it right. And then sometimes paint seeps through. So I just do the bare minimum with that. And then anything, I try to be as clean as I can while I'm painting. And then anything I don't, anything I mess up, I'll just clean up with this magic eraser or antibacterial wipes. So no biggie. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I'm just gonna put the things back into the bathroom. I know there's more things that I wanted to decorate in here with, but I haven't found anything and I don't wanna impulsively buy anything. So I'm just waiting and letting it come to me. But I do just need to get everything back in here because one, it's taking up space being out in the hallway. Two, I actually need to do the guest bedroom. I need to paint that and then start that redecorating. And then I need to redecorate and paint our master bathroom. So basically I'm stalling. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on this. I'm gonna do this as a quick time lapse. I don't wanna just make this video run on any longer. So yeah, and then once I get done with this, I'm gonna go paint um, some other things that I wanna put in here, but I'll explain that in the next portion. So anyways, let's get into it because I'm stalling. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these pieces of trim that we picked up from Home Depot. They were like very cheap, just, you know, regular little pieces of trim. And I'm gonna paint these white and then I'm gonna let them dry for about a day. And then my boyfriend's gonna put them up around the mirror in the bathroom to like frame it. And then honestly, after that, I'll probably go ahead and reveal it all because we'll be done at that point. Sorry, I'm in the garage and it's really windy today. Um, this is just a sample uh, thing of paint that we picked up from Home Depot. It's like seven bucks. It, it comes in pure white, just naturally. If you want a different color, that's what the people at the paint station at Home Depot do. They can tint it and change the color. But because I do want it to be white, I just got it as is. So it was super quick. This is a semi-gloss 
paint. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. And then I actually have some other trim for the uh, master bathroom, but we are not getting, <laughs> we're not that far yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just do these and then, yeah. Right now we're about to install a cabinet that we assembled earlier that day. It took us about an hour and a half to assemble it. I thought if I added that in the video, it would be definitely too long. So I just wanted to include the portion of us actually installing it. It is up. Pa, 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 pa. Love it. Jesus Christ. This is actually uh, quite a few days later. It's been like over a week since I've last done the guest bathroom. I've really been focusing on doing the guest bedroom and I'm like 98% done with that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it up. It's really simple. I actually needed to take off the trim that I put up the first time. I don't say I put up, my boyfriend put it up. Um, but it was too small. I didn't really think about that. So I had to get it, I had to take it down. We went and bought some new trim the other day and I've already cut it. So I did overestimate the cuts. I did overestimate the cuts. So they're like an extra two inches long, just in case I need to make a little adjustment or correction. But yep, this is the new one. Very pretty. I love it. Uh, as you can see, this one's a whole lot bigger than the old one. Um, this one still has the nails in it because I haven't taken them out yet. That's something for another day. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put these up on the wall, measure exactly where I need to cut so I can make a diagonal cut with them. Um, and also just to see how it looks on the wall before I actually nail it this time. Because I wasn't in here when he put up the first one. And I wish I was because I would have stopped him really quickly but yeah anyways so let's go ahead and do that and enjoy <laughs>
Just pretty, just quick explanation on what I just did. Uh, basically, I laid this on the wall first, since this is a longer piece, and then I overlaid it with this one. I'm not sure if I'm level measuring, like, syncing that up right, but basically, I tried to mark where these would overlap, and I created the little box that you see, and then I cut a little line on where I want the diagonal cut to be. Um, I know this was probably a horrible example because this was probably a different side, um, but I'll probably show you more precisely what I mean here in a minute when I go and cut it. This is how the mirror is looking so far. So I cut the angles and they did pretty well. Um, it was hard trying to cut it with such a big saw, but it came out really nice. Um, so now from here, all I need to do is put in some wood filler on these cracks and then sand that down. I'll need to put wood filler on the nail holes as well and then just smooth those out. Make sure it's nice and pretty. And then once I've done that, I'll go ahead and just paint it and then we'll be done. So the first layer of paint is done. Because I chose white, I know I'm gonna have to go over it at least like two to three times, but that is okay. I know it looks pretty rough up close, but I'm gonna clean all of that up. Thankfully I had the wide tape, so it made it super easy. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to do another layer, let it dry for like another hour or two and then I'll probably do like a third coating maybe or I might just stop it to let it kind of dry overnight and then check what it looks like tomorrow and then if tomorrow I feel like it needs a third coat, I'll do that. But basically, this is the last thing that I wanted to get done. Everything else is pretty much all set. So, yep. I mean, I do want to add like a little few things, like something maybe right there. And then maybe something cute to sit on top of the cabinet. And then it'll like hang down like a plant. But I don't really keep plants alive. So, anyways, that is pretty much it for the night. And I will check back in with you guys tomorrow.
this is the final reveal okay it looks amazing so it turned out very very nice i guess the only thing that i didn't expect to happen was the cabinet i actually went bloating shelves but it's okay it actually works really really well and it serves a really good purpose so i'm happy with it so far i debated on getting either black or white and we ended up with white because i don't really remember <laughs> i think it was because we thought it would look weird if we had a black cabinet above the white toilet i'm not sure but now that i see it 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 is what it is but this was true motivation it always seems impossible until it's done and it took forever but it's now done i actually got the shower curtain back when we moved in so it's been here since the beginning of time and i kind of wanted to go off of that theme i clearly didn't really do that so i'm just going to keep it as is i kind of like the whole you know black um hardware and black linen that makes it a little bit special i don't know nothing else in the house really has this much black in the room so i thought this was a nice little touch uh besides painting we did install a new shower head it's actually really really nice it's a huge square one as you can see it has like little rubber nozzles it comes with this little handheld thing as well and the sticky to hold it in place I put this shelf up. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, I got the shower head off of Amazon and I got this shower caddy off of Amazon. I just wanted something to stick on there to hold. Yeah, I know we have four shelves in here, but this is basically a way to hold something and make sure that, that, that it doesn't fall. Plus it's like right in front of you. So I just think that that's handy. I'm not sure why I did that, but here we are. It is what it is. And I like it. Also, if you go by Target, I definitely recommend this body wash. It is amazing. The Moroccan, the Moroccan mint and cedar is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much all we did to upgrade the shower itself. Uh, normally we don't really use it except for if someone else is like, if I'm in the shower and he needs to shower, he'll come in here or vice versa stuff like that and then obviously when we have guests they use it but i really like it i think i'm gonna start using this shower in this bathroom a lot more specifically this shower to wash my hair because that shower head is amazing like amazing it is amazing like truly amazing um and then the cabinet that we've already been talking so much about already you guys saw what i put in it you saw us put it up so that's you know all wrapped up in one and then I have these little eucalyptus leaves up here in a mason jar with some water. Uh, I do like the eucalyptus leaves in the bathroom. It really gives it like a spa feel. I had some extra clippings from the eucalyptus that we used in our master bathroom. And so I thought I'd just put them in a cute little jar and put them up at the top just to have some kind of greenery in here. The woven caddy on the top has like always been there. So I'm just gonna leave it there until I figure out what else to do with it. I mean, I could get rid of it or I could just like put it up at the top, but uh, it is what it is. And I do hate that toilet brush and plunger for the life of me, I really do y'all. But I don't like to waste things. He bought that when we first moved in without consulting anybody and it looks horrendous. We, we won't talk about that um the black rug that obviously stayed the same the toilet paper roll holder it's it holds about three rolls and then the roll that you're using and then it has a little top piece that's like a foam caddy i always thought that that was really cool i don't ever really use it but i do like to set like wipes and other things right there uh, i won't bring it over there because the trash is not taken out and i just it's just gonna look weird so yeah moving on it's so cute i love it everything is perfect um i guess i want to add something here eventually i don't know what but something here i'm not sure maybe a piece of art i feel like that's the most sensible thing because there's not really art in here besides what's behind me so a piece of art up here would really just mwah, set it off you know so this pretty much concludes the entire video um it took a very long time because i was trying to juggle two different things at once this and the guest bedroom and knowing i can't do both at the same time i won't do that again in the future 
but finally you guys get to see this and the completed touch i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you come back to see the part one version of me redecorating the guest bedroom bye no, not what it is.